Morning and welcome back to breakfast. It is 20 minutes past six. Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has launched an investigation into alleged interference by China in the country's elections. With China, our biggest trading partner, and concerns over Beijing's push for power in the Pacific, is our democracy under threat as well? The Interparliamentary Alliance on China is a worldwide cross-party group aiming to help countries keep the ruling Chinese Communist Party in check. One of its New Zealand members is Labour's Ingrid Leary. She joins me now along with Otago University Professor Robert Patman. Morning to you two. Thank you so much for being with us. Ingrid, I'll start with you. How are we going at keeping the Chinese Communist Party in check? Well, uh, look, first, I'd just like to say my comments are very much wearing the co-chair hat of that organisation, IPAC. Uh, and I think that uh, what IPAC is really about is vigilance. What we have seen happen in Canada is just a reminder for us as a country to remain vigilant, especially going into an election year. And this is uh, agnostic. This is vigilance towards all state actors, non-state actors. Let's make sure that our democracy is robust and safe and that we determine our future and there's no political interference. So what do you do in the alliance to, to keep things under check? Uh, so really, uh, I guess the, it's a bit of a watchdog role. There are other jurisdictions have uh, cross-party groups that are actually parliamentary committees that have been formed to keep an eye on security. So that's happened in the US, it's happened in Australia, and the UK is currently uh, passing legislation to do that as well. In the absence of that in New Zealand, I think IPAC is a really good watchdog just to be talking to our parliamentary colleagues globally, finding out where the pressure points are, uh, seeing what we can do as in best practice to make sure that we keep our, our our democratic um, institutions safe and that we are vigilant to any signs of foreign interference. Robert, I'll come to you now. Is our democracy safe when it comes to China and, and the CCP at the moment? It certainly seems to be. We've had some evidence of Chinese influence operations in New Zealand in the past, but they haven't been of a massive scale. Uh, but I, I agree with what Ingrid is saying. I, I don't think there's any room for complacency, and we have to take into account that the United States and China seem to be on a bit of a collision course at the moment, mm. and not least over Ukraine. And we have a very different position from China on that core issue in international politics, which might, from Beijing's point of view, increase the stakes to have some influence over an election here. I was reading some of the headlines, very recent headlines, as in the last week um, when it comes to China. Trudeau orders new probes into alleged election interference by China. Taiwan warns China's military may make sudden entry. China foreign minister warns of potential for conflict with US. So this is a very real threat, Robert. It is. Um, we've had a pattern of intensifying US-China rivalry in recent years, and uh, we will be affected by that. And uh, while we've been quite nuanced compared with our other partners in the Five Eyes Intelligence Sharing Alliance, uh, when push comes to shove, there's no doubt that we have much more in common with the United States on interests and values uh, than we do with China. And China is not backing down on its support for Russia, which has illegally invaded a country mm. which threatens our interests internationally. So, you know, at some point we may be asked to take a stronger international stand, which in turn could have implications for Chinese interest in our election. Ingrid, does that play into the work that the Alliance does, the, the things that are going on internationally? You know, if you look at the Chinese Communist Party essentially threatening war with the US, does that play into the work that you do? Actually, the work that I've been doing with the Alliance is to look over to our friends in the Pacific and say, and, and recognise it's an increasingly contested space. So what can we do to support Pacific resilience? What can we do to make sure that the Pacific Islands uh, lead any conversation around the geopolitics in their area? And what New Zealand has done, uh, climate resilience is obviously one area. Uh, we have contributed $1.3 billion to climate resilience because uh, climate is now seen as a peace and security issue globally. Uh, so, But I think it's really about getting Pacific voice 
voices into the conversation. And when I went up to Washington last year, uh, we had a meeting in Washington for IPAC. I invited Pacific Island MPs. I made sure that uh, we had a representative from Fiji. She's now the assistant speaker there. So uh, getting the, the Pacific to lead on these complex relationships is really important because it's their relationships, it's their region, and we have a kaitiakitanga role to play in terms of supporting them. I think that is the best thing that we can do to safeguard this region. Justin Trudeau, the Canadian Prime Minister, has um, appointed an independent special investigator to look into these claims of Chinese interference in their election. Are you concerned that there could be similar interference here in New Zealand? I think it always pays to be vigilant uh, to interference from any actor, any non-state actor. We uh, we need to be have strict rules around political donations. Uh, I've seen that with the uh, overseas jurisdictions using foreign influence transparency registers. That's a notion where uh, any lobbying is done in a very transparent way. That might be something to have in our toolkit at some point. Uh, in the meantime, IPAC is doing that role in terms of just casting an eye over things and making sure that the relationships that we see in front of us are open and transparent and that there are no hidden agendas. I, I think it's the transparency is the bit that we need to get right. We live in a world of complex uh, relationships. Uh, we are often competitors and com collaborators with other uh, state actors and so we need to just be able to know the, the transparency around the relationship and around the transactions that are going on and that means if somebody for example is representing another country that they do so openly, that they say their representation, they're not uh, forming insidious relationships inside political parties or inside universities or other areas. These are all areas for vigilance. We can look overseas and see that there have been encroachments there and we just need to keep our eyes open to our own country. Ingrid Leary from the Interparliamentary Alliance on China and Professor Robert Patman from Otago University. Thank you so much for your time this morning, both of you. Thank you. Right, Thank stay you. with us. We'll be right back after the break with your 6.30 News.